You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out a Kamigami robot. And I do want to say thanks to them for sending me this, plus one other robot to check out on video. This one is not built. The other one is already built. Now, this is for ages 8 plus, And their website is KamigamiRobots.com. Lightning fast robots you can build, program, and evolve. And we will learn all about that. The contents of the kit are right here. You can kind of get an idea of what one of them looks like. Now let's check out the rest of the box here. Kamigami robots, you see it's scampering a line along there underneath the logo. It is Bluetooth smart. And that's how we're going to be able to control it. That's kind of the same. Not much there, but here we are. So we can get more information. Discover a new way of creating with Kamigami. Programmable. Simply drag and drop to create behaviors. Do it yourself. Build in under an hour. No tools required. Bluetooth Smart. Control from your smartphone or tablet. Sensor Suite. Packed with ways to sense the world. Swarm Robotics. Robot to robot communication enabled. High speed. Designed to run like the world's fastest animals. Now, I uh, was searching through their YouTube channel, and I'll have a link to that in the description and their website in the description area. And they have a complete build, which is what I would normally do because I like to show every step. Now I will probably do some of the build on this, but I do want to check out the robot that's already built and run this around and see how it works. So when I come back, I will have this out of the box. I will start the process for the unboxing and then check out how it's built and put some of it together for you. All right, here we go. How exciting is this? I always enjoy opening up new toys, especially ones that I get to build and program. Here we are. Ooh, it says stop. Okay, I will stop. Just kidding. Build instructions can be found at this website or on our app, which I have. So I will show you that. Of course, that's part of this. And then here is sheet number one. Okay, it looks like it's plastic coated. This is his exterior shell, so it's pretty light and it looks to be with this like waterproofing, so you're definitely not going to have an issue with that. Of course, your electronics you will. And then next sheet. Now this one is probably twice as thick as of this one. Hard to tell, but you can see somewhat of a thickness change there. So this is the inner workings. Maybe that'll help. See how this barely bends and this one folds and bends. Okay. And then there's this in the box. The instructions. So you get a printed information pamphlet there. And then here is electronics. Now I'm going to be careful when I take this out here, touching the board. I'll touch from the sides. Gentle. Okay. So this looks like our motor and everything we need. A battery on and off I'm guessing anyway here is your USB charger and then here is the little rivet pieces that you use to build anything else nothing else all right so like I said there is a complete build already so what I'll do is I will come back now that we've checked out all the pieces I will show you the app and then we'll see how that build process starts I'll do some on video for you and then work my way through it till I have it finished. I will be right back. All right, I am set. I had to cover up this part of my phone so I don't get interrupted by texts and other things that enter the phone. Now, it did say to charge. So I thought it'd be fun to actually charge it while it's like this. And then we might be able to connect it and see how all the gears work. Okay, so the green light next to the USB port. Let me put this here. I thought that just looked cool. So that's fully charged. So I could take it off the charger now. And it's nice. It came fully charged. And then let's see. Now it's going to actually look for the robot. So here we go. I have turned it on. It should find it. New robot. Tap to connect. This just lit up green. Okay. So let's see. I think we have what looks to be like this one. So we'll just choose it since it's here. And then name your robot. Oh, let's call this robot, hmm, Stinky, for like Stinky Bug. 
and I'll spell it S-T-I-N-K, oh wait, let me delete all that's in there, Stinky, I like that, S-T-I-N-K-Y, okay, done, and then, is it save, save, okay, there is Stinky, let's see, drive, oh, here we go, ah, look at that, let's see, R, that is the light change, green, blue. All right, well, let's just, let me take a look at this a little bit closer here so you can see the gear movement, hear it. It's always cool. All right, so I'm driving. Let's say I'm going forward now. Reverse. It's pretty neat. Now I'm guessing, well, this part's gonna connect to his leg. So that little piece there is a leg connection. Okay, on the app now, there is the speed. So let's go rabbit speed, not turtle speed. And let's see if it makes a difference. Ooh. Okay, now I'll go all the way to turtle. Yep, there's slow. There is fast. Color change, color change. So it's pretty responsive. I'm doing that. Click, 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 click. All right, so that is our board. Ooh, let's look at it that way. See the lighting there? So the little LED lights are changing color. There's three of them. Ooh, hey, wait a minute. Hey, that was cool. Of course, not intended. Ooh, we flipped over. Let's hold it up to the speaker. Ah, so now it looks like left, right. It's pretty responsive, so you can pretty much turn. Here, I'll show you from what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of going a little crazy on the dial here. Okay, so now I'm not sure what to do next here. Let me see. Let me just move this here so I can hit the back arrow. Okay, so Stinky is set. Let's see. And then maybe this is build up here with the gear. I'm not sure. Edit. No, nope, reset. Let's disconnect. And then let's go back. How to build right here. Okay. Find all the components. Check. Okay, here's how to remove the snaps. Okay, so that's a check. I'll have to study that. Hopefully I don't have to remove them. Instructions. Oh, that is one tab. Okay, so I think we're in. So there's a little arrow up. Oh, right there. Next. That made it easy. Okay, walk through video. Orient the main body as shown. All right, so that means I need to punch it out. Let's have that experience together so we can hear it how it comes out of the little and see okay so you can just grab it so it doesn't look like you need a cutter now other sets you kind of hold it down here and then just pull it out that seems to work pretty good There. Okay. So orient. Looking at this, it would be this way. Okay. And then let's see, where is the next? Caution. Make sure legs are folded so white panels face in. Okay, so there's a caution. Repeat the three remaining legs. Okay, so I am actually now doing that part of it, it looks like. Let's see, there's a little video. It's 49 seconds. Oh, orient the body is shown. Okay. All right. So let me study that real quick, and then I will get those all oriented, come back, and then we'll continue on. All right. It was as simple as they said. I just always like to confirm, you know. So let me get my little rivets. Now, they are two pieces, but you don't take them apart because 
like a pop rivet when you push this in it's gonna lock and expand on the back and then just look at it. it looks really neat how this is look from this side seeing all the little areas where it bends and moves and you can kind of imagine this now being my little base so really it just said push this together so that the white sections technically gray are going to be pushed together and then let's just do our first snap and see how that goes okay that works look at that so that just snaps right in now remember there was a way to take those out so hopefully I won't need to do that let's just do what they say and then I will come back really nice We'll observe the next step and then we'll go from there. Now, I've done some big builds before and I'm guessing, even though it says it takes an hour, I bet you it would take less, but as you're making a video, that always can really expound upon the time. Because you're stopping, you're talking, you're analyzing, you know, all of those things. But listen here, I'll make the snap up here so you can hear the snap. You ready? Okay, well, there, all right, so let's see, arrow over. Did I miss it? Oh, oh, there's another little pictorial of that. And then next. Oh, so you get a little video and then you also get pictures, okay, crossbars. So I'll have to grab those, so let me let me see if I could find the crossbar right away. I don't see anything that numbers. There's no numbering. So it looks like a small little crossbar, and I'm guessing it's this one. Let me get it out. I probably should have just got all the pieces out. Let's just do that now. Then I can maybe look ahead a little. I'm really intrigued by how these sheets are die cut. Pretty neat. Okay, that one's not easy. Not as easy as the other one. Doesn't look like a lot of pieces here for this part of it. Okay, and then these look like these need to come apart. And then basically just this piece, which is giving me trouble. Kind of just putting pressure down trying to pop it I guess you're just worried about you know pieces but the one video I saw they dropped this from way in the air and it seems to handle the the drop really well so I guess you don't know till you actually work with it and play with it what 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 what, what where the give is you know Ah, another little intricate looking piece. Look at that. All right, so let me study the next step now that all that is out. And then I will uh, continue on with this build. I know I said I wasn't going to do the complete build, but it's intriguing to me. So I hope you are also interested in it. Now this fits into here. And then this moves up to here. And connects these two sections. Just trying to see how the best way to get my fingers in there. There we go. That's the best way. Okay. I think that is how that goes. All right. So let me check out the next step. I think that's it for that step. It says fold the front and back. All right. So that is the next step. So let me review that and we'll do that step of the process. Okay, simple enough. You just kind of want to look at it a little. So these just go in here and then press in here. There we go. I mean, it's already probably a 20 minute video, just me talking in the intro and all that, but oh well. There we go. That was it. All right.
the build progresses. Now this is what it looks like. So you kind of have a nice shell. I will be back. All right, here is the next step. And I just kind of learned something here because when you look at this way this folds, look how intricate that is, the way that folds in there. And you can kind of see through that. And then I was looking at the big sheet. Look at that. So there's this wiry mesh. So I'm guessing, well, I could pretty much tell you that there is a top layer, a mesh layer, and then a bottom layer. And that's what's making all the joints. So that is basically like your hinge. Now this one here looks like they want you to hold it near the end. They say like a pencil. And if you look at the end piece, there are, uh, there is a spot right there. So I guess it could take a little bit to get that in there just right. Got to find the right angle and then lock it in and do the same with this side. And let me just do both back pieces first. Once you get it though, I think, there you go. All right. I guess when you build it, it's fun to hear the little clickings and knowing that, hey, there's an accomplishment. It's like hearing a tool, you know, like a saw cutting. There we go. All right, that was that step. I didn't see much more there. Let's just sneak peek at what's next. Hip rails. Oh, okay. So I will have to, oh wait, that looks like this piece and this looks like two pieces. So these are the hip rails. All right, so I will get those set, come back. It's been very easy to do. You just follow along, snap it in. And now you have these connected. Am I sensing something? We will see. All right, next step. Okay, moving right along. They want you to grab the hip rail. Let's see, locate the hip rail marked with A. Okay, this one is A. There's a little A up there. This one has a little, well, A, B, and then C, D. And then here again, they want this leg to fold over and lock in. Remember the white sections. Okay. And then I want this folded over and locked in. And then this is going to bend in a little V like that. So do that for the two. And then I will install them into the main chassis here, which is what I need to take a quick look at next. But I'm guessing now there is another slot. Uh, let's see, where did I see it? Right here, this angle slot looks like is where this V-shaped piece will go in. I just want to make sure I have the right side and the left side correct, but kind of looking like that. So I will uh, do that. Well, actually, this says C to D. So this would be the C side, but yep, I guess that would be it. So that's going to go into there. And then the D side into here. I hope that's right. Okay, this side. Oh, is it that whole top? Hmm. Well, I will have to. No, that doesn't go there. All right, so let me study that side, but at least we're progressing right along. Aha, I figured out what they did to me there. Not them, but uh, this tip side is smaller than this side. So I was looking for a size here to match. Like this one, as you can see, is bigger than this one. So that's why I was a little confused there. It does go exactly there. It's just not the same size, which would mean it should be easy to put together, right? Since you really can't mess that up or switch them around. It's just how to hold it is the ticket. There we go. Okay, so now at least see the legs are in all on the same side or going the same direction. So now here again, you have the letter A. So A side, I want to put the A side in first. Okay, and then a B side. All right, sorry for that little interruption there. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, ooh, I'm sure there's more to it. So let's move on to the next step. Okay, I could probably just go right through without stopping, but it gives me a chance to think a little. You're just snapping those in and then 
folding this over and then putting in another rivet there. And they want you to support underneath as you do this. Okay, and then let me just snap them all in so that step is done. But a little click is satisfying, don't you think? That little click, 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 you know you've made a connection. Okay, so this part I will not bore you with. I will come back then. I'll have all of these rivets in place. But now you know you just kind of fold it over the... The instruction sheet shows you the color variance and what color is where, so it should it should be easy for you to do if it's easy for me to do. Missed the hole. All right, I'll be back with the next group of steps. Just a few more to put in, and I will come back. All right, electronics go in, and I do want to let you know that, of course, this is the front area, it looks like, where the lights were mounted. Remember the lights? They were kind of shining somewhere over here. Well, let's take a look at it again while we're here. I can just turn it on. So there's the light, so that's the front. This is gonna go in here. Now you gotta watch the inner piece because that is where this connects to the gear mechanism. So they have three spots and they kinda of want you to support from the top and the bottom, being careful to make sure that you get a good snap fit. Let's see, good. And then the next one in the middle. Line up the hole, get your fingers underneath there, and snap. Here, let's turn you off. I noticed to turn them off, you hold the button down. Hold it down, and then it turns off. Okay, and then the last one is here. See that? It's hard to get your finger in there for that one. There, that's in, you get a snap. And now uh, this gearing piece needs to connect in here, but take a look at this. So this is how this has got like shocks, built-in shocks, because of the mechanism that's on the ends, it's working as your shocks. And then this is your choo 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 choo, almost like a track-like system. Okay, so connecting this to this, hmm. Looks to be, not challenging, but lining it up. Okay, so let's let's work with this mechanism here. There we go. Ooh, I had it. I almost need a tool just to kind of push that in. Okay, that one's in. Your instinct is just to bend it all in place, but you want to be careful. Probably the hardest step so far to get it just right. Because your fingers are hitting the legs and it's moving everything. The mechanisms. So let me see if I can use that to my advantage. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh just missed it. Alright, I'll get this last fidgety one back in. And once I get that set, I will come back because the robot is built from this point. Okay, super easy to do. I just did the gear kind of slid forward a little and then it locked right in. And then here's your shell. So you have Mus Musabu and then Gaki, G-O-K-I. How would you pronounce that? Goki or Gaki? And then Inari. So that's the one we're going to build. But I wanted to, let's just see, because I'll have to take these all out. But I wanted to run it real quick. Okay, so yeah, so I need to pull these sheets out, but I want to get back. I want to get out of the build here. Let's just say we're done. You are finished. Okay. Help. No, I don't need help. I want to go to, let me see, it's not up there. Let's see, arrow out. All right. Back on the build. Let me see if this takes me out of here. Yep, there it goes. So now it's looking for the robot. Let's turn him on. Okay, it finds it so fast. Let's see if it does it that fast right now. 
Stinky. Hey, Stinky. Ooh, you are my friend. You are now my stinky friend. Let's do this and then drive so we can see the mechanism up close. Ooh. Well, look at his fast legs. Ooh -wee. Let's go super fast. Whoa. Okay, so you kind of see it now. Let's just leave it here. Yes, you want to look at my phone? Go ahead. So this will just turn him around. There you go, buddy. Turn the other way. Good little stinky. That's my stinky. Jump, 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 jump for joy. That's too, you want to change your eye color? Ooh, old blue eyes here. Let's just see. He falls on his side or his back. Will he eventually upright? Can you get him? I'm sure with the base on, the top on, it's probably easier to get him to flip. I just like looking at him. Here we go. So let me just see if I can hold up the gearing so you can see inside. Here we go. See how that's all connected now in there? He cruises. It's almost like a uh, hummingbird. It's, it's like it's moving so fast, it looks like it's barely moving when the camera's like... Alright, you stay there. How cool is that? Let me just pop out some pieces. Now I'm excited to get them finished. Should I bore you with this part of it? Now this looks a little bit different. It's got this seal on it. Hmm. It's not supposed to be there, is it? So it looks like you peel this off. Let's just verify. Come on, Mr. Instructions. Let's go back to build. How to build. Because there's this layer. It looks like I have to peel all this off. All right, so I have to skip all the way through. I will get to that next step. Maybe I'll have some of it popped out, so that'll speed that up, and then I'll get right to putting him together. All right, so you do remove this sticky sheet. It doesn't really tell you, but it's the only way to get the pieces off. And then you take these all out. Now, I was going to get ahead a little bit here, but now I'm not. And it was weird because my phone rang just at that point. I was about to start, so let's just see. Hopefully they don't call back. I'm in a video. Okay, so here's what's left. And then, let's see. So they show it like this. Fold the side fins down as shown. Okay. And then they show this going up. Hmm. It almost looks like they want to fold the other way, but... That's what the picture looks like. So let's just let's just do what they say. Okay. That looks like that gets punched out. So let me just confirm all this. Get it all folded correctly. And then, yeah, that's down. And then, well, let me just confirm it all. Come back. I jumped right into it, and then I will continue on. All right, I'm popping all of these out. Now, the instructions to me at this point seem a little bit uh, opposite. It says fold the side fins down as shown. Now if it's this way, wouldn't this be down? But it's not. They want them up, down. I guess that's down, up. I don't know. So I think that needs to be clarified just slightly because this is the outside. So you want this to be shown. I folded them completely the wrong way. That's why I was a little confused there. It says fold them down, but then it shows the arrows going up. But maybe that's for this. Fold these down. Oh no, fold the eye panels to be facing straight up. Whatever that means, you know, arbitrarily, is that straight up? But you definitely want them to go out. So I thought, well, let me just take a second. I'm just taking a little skinny tool, pushing one end down, and then you're able to just pull it out because that's going to infringe on trying to get this all together. So that's one step that is not mentioned there. And I hope I have to do it, because that's the only way I'm going to pop all this in. That's what I'm assuming. I'll leave the rest, just in case they don't need to be popped out. And then looking at the picture now, okay. Oh, 
that makes sense these get fold this way these side skirts are this way and now you're taking this panel and you're putting the eyes with the eyeball going forward in the front and then this being rounded I'm guessing this is gonna curve over like this okay so let's see and oh yep curve the panels over now hopefully I'm in camera sometimes like I I, I just totally lose where I'm at with the camera I'm so caught up in what I'm trying to do All right, let's try to get this one in first I see what needs to be done oh, okay so they went in that gives us a little resistance now to go this way okay so this is going to take some fidgeting that one's in how's my fidgeting now there we go all right there's his eyes that looks cool maybe this is the holes to attach it to the frame okay fold the back panel as shown okay so it looks like the white side and this is gonna go this way now if I'm perceiving them correctly I think that would be a more logical step for that first step fold as shown okay this little tab's gonna go down oh let's put that one in first it's gonna like add a little curvature natural curvature this one is not popping in there we go Oop, pop back out okay I might have to fidget with that one a little bit but I think you get the idea on that and then continuing on yes 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 my little fins all right I will wait on this I think I'm gonna try to wrap up get this all secured and then finalize the process okay I am figuring it out now I grabbed the tweezers because it helped me pop these little circle ones out doesn't say to do that but it might be nice to get it out of the way now just so they're not in the way when you're putting your rivets in now this did take a little wiggling to get these all to lock in especially these two back ones I kind of pinched it and grabbed it and then pulled it through so that's all out I got one more here to take out and I think we are good I know I know I said I wasn't gonna do the whole build it's impossible for me not to do that though and then and then it looks like these go to line up with the hole on top because that's going to get locked in this is going to line up with this and once that's in it looks like it's in that's going to go on here and then in four spots it says looks like these needed to be fold down which I didn't do because this is going to hold it in here rivet one course be a little bit more careful than that rivet two it's hard to hold in there though you're at a point now where there's so much underneath three and now four okay if I erred in any way I do apologize I did my best I was gonna grab another one but I don't think there's anything wrong with that one there's always one that you know you gotta line up just right okay Whew. is he still on no now he's on let's see looking looking stinky's connected let's go stinky let's show him what you got drive ha ha Whee! 
They're off the table here. Thank you, Stinky. Can you move that? Oh, too much for you to move? Come on, push, push, push. Oh, how about a little more speed? Oh, I think I, oh, wrong way. Push, yay, doing a good job. Turn around, turn around, turn around, there you go. Oh, 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 wrong way. Left, right, oh, back. All right, let me start you over. I got to get used to how you drive. Let me see if I do turn him over. Let's say he lands like that. Will he eventually flip over? This is what I want to learn. Is there like a flip over technique? We don't want a bug stuck on our back, do we? Okay. You're not doing too well there, buddy. I'm going to have to figure that out. Change your eye color. Green. Now it's harder to see. That's why I'm glad I showed it to you. But this is all lighting up here. Let me get him back on the charger now. Get him full charged. I'll clean up here. Yep, I think he's on the slowest setting. Too slow. Mm. The coolest thing. Alright, I will be back now after I fully charge him again. Here, do a little dance for us right here in the middle. Whee, whee. And then I'll bring in his friend. I will be back. All right, I think I misread earlier on the charging part. Now it's at 77% when the light is green. Remember that light in there? And it's solid, that means it's still charging. When it turns off, then it's done charging. So I will keep checking back. When it's 100%, I will give it a whirl. Okay, a little bit different setup here. I wanna just show you some things. Let me get this app set here. It's ready to go. Let me unplug this. Let me turn him on. He is now on. Found him right away. My stinky is set to go. And then let's tap to connect. Light just changed color so we know it's connected. And then there are some things like under uh, drive or sampler pack. Let me see. Yep, it's under sampler pack. Now watch. This is stuff that's pre-programmed. And I do need to let you know that the Android app that I'm using is in beta. So I cannot show you any type of programming. But I can at least do this. Watch here. Pre-programmed, and then there's a pre-programmed squiggly. Okay, next time I will start him further back. Let me grab him. Start him back here and do that and see how he goes. Oops. Get in there. Okay, and then there's a pre-programmed circle. It's a little different circle too. It's like a wider circle than if I just did this. See that? So it sets eyes purple and right for one second, circle right. So it's kind of all programs. So they're little sample programs you can do. And then these are the games. Afraid of the Dark, Freeze Tag, and Sumo require, I believe, a second one. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring in a guest here and eventually and do that. So let me just show you a little bit of the driving now that we got some room here. Let me pull this out now. So that's all I'm doing. It's just moving this, as you saw earlier. I'm going to go full rabbit speed on full charge. Oh, did you see that? He flipped over. Let's see if he'll come back now. I wonder if there's a way to flip him back, and I don't know yet. Okay, you don't want to flip over, do you? Okay, there we go. Go forward, reverse. Right, forward, reverse, forward. Be very easy to control, not too hard. Until you hop into this speed. Then you're kind of at his mercy a little bit. Let's see if we can get them back here. Wow, that is so cool. I think I want to bring the camera in just a little bit and show you his feet moving.
Oh, he like bounces around, he's moving so fast. Alright, let me see if I can do this without having to stop. If I bring the camera down just to his feet and then zoom in, we can kind of see where we're at. Let's see if you can get that. If I can keep it right there, that would be awesome. Let's see. Oh, I turned it slow. This is turtle speed, so you can see the difference. And then let's go up a little bit more. Oh, I got to keep him in here. Okay. And then this is super fast. Let me just hold him up. Look at that. That is so cool. So it's look like almost in slow motion, but he's moving. It's moving so fast. Ooh. Now they say you can just drop them down. Let's see. No issues. Higher up. No issues. Nice. So it'll take some aggressive play, it looks like. Ooh, let me zoom out. I have a, a couple things blocking all the different areas, so that's kind of what I'm using to keep them in the zone. Okay, that's like medium speed now. And then, uh, I'll tell you what, let me get my assistant in here. And I have a second one that they sent me. This one here. Fully charged and ready to go. So let me get this off the charger. I think now we can try one of the games. We'll turn this one on, we'll sync up that device, we will come back and we will show you now the two of them together. All right, driver number two is with me today. Elise has now entered the arena. Say hello to everybody. Hi guys. All right, she is, her, her bot is actually called Lucky Penny. So she is getting set. We're gonna play a game called Freeze Tag. And what happens is if you get behind somebody, there's a little, I'll try to show you here. There's a little, like a uh, snowflake there that you press and that disables the other player. And three times, then they lose. All right, so move your bot around so we know you're good. Okay, and I'm on. So let's just show them real quick. Can you come in behind me here? I'm trying. All right, I'll, I'll find you. Okay, turn around. Okay. If I have to control it, I'm a lucky. That's okay. Turn around. Oh, turn around. Okay, oh, go slow, go slow. Right there, stop. Okay, yeah, now I'm gonna hit the fire button, which is that little snowflake, and watch, her eyes are gonna change. Ooh, they didn't yeah, change. They oh, there they there just changed. Now her controls are disabled, and then they'll eventually go back on, and now uh, she can start up again. So let's go. Ooh, did I get to that time? No. Don't forget to hit that. Oh no! Upside down. I get you. No. I'll just wait for you to get me my way. Did I get you? Boy, it's going to take some practice for us to get these controls down. Right? Woo! Oh, wait. Oh. oh. Did I get you? Wait. Oh. There, I'll get out of there. Whee! Oh, hit, go reverse. Oh, I had you there. I, oh, I got you. Hello. Gotcha. Oh, you got me. All right, so now I can move out. You better turn around. I'm trying to hit my hitting my button. Don't forget, you got to hit that uh, yeah. snowflake. Mm -hmm. I'm turning around for you. Oh, you're letting me win? Oh, that's so nice of you. Oh, got you again. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, pause here. We will come back and we'll try another game. All right. All right, before we did sumo, we wanted to just show you the light changes in the dark so you can see that. The camera has a hard time focusing when they're moving around so fast, but at least we can 
change eye color. So tell me what color you want to be. Uh, I'll be red. Red. There we go. Red. Next color. Blue. Blue. Aha. Now watch this. Can you do that and blink? You gotta move fast. You gotta keep pressing, pressing, pressing. Kind of. I can't get to the red though. <clears throat> All right, so now let's check out Sumo. Now this, we're gonna have to go back to the light. We just wanted to show you what they look like in the dark. Well, we could try it for a second. I bet you the cameras. Are you going to Sumo? When you're in yes. Sumo mode, watch what happens when one flips over. Oh, you're not on Sumo. I'll be on Sumo in one sec. You there? Watch. There we go. You get a little eh sound. Mm -hmm. So the app and your bots can communicate with each other. So you can set up these parameters with programming and make up your own games. Well, let's drive for a second and see here. So let's see if we can flip somebody over and the camera stays in focus. Whee! Oh, you hit me. Oh, wait, I didn't even knock you over. Your eyes yeah. turn red, so maybe there's yeah. a setting for it. Oh, we're totally out of focus now. Let's try on the lights and play a little bit more. Are you ready to rumble? Ready. All right, so you decided to change your name. It was I Love Lucky Penny Shop. Now your name is? Winky. Winky? So I'm Stinky and you're Winky. Yep. Hey, I like that. It rhymes. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go blue eyes. I'm red. Red? Okay. All right, so let's just have fun. We'll drive around. We'll wear out these batteries. And we'll just see what happens. How about we practice, huh? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try to just go straight now. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna turn mine down to turtle. Slower to turtle. Okay. And then I'll just slowly walk and go in reverse. Reverse three point turn. Now I'm gonna come towards you. Dee, 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 dee. We'll meet in the center. Hey, we should play red light, green light. Oh yeah, there you go. Hey Winky, how you doing? Hello. There we go. Alright, so at that speed, it's funny how he turns. It's like, ooh, I'm going in circles. Look at me, I'm stuck. Hey, this is the middle speed. Okay. You're on the middle speed. Okay, I'm gonna go to middle speed. Going to green eyes. I'll do green too. Yeah, you really will have to practice this. Now right, you keep driving. My phone is running out of power. I gotta plug my phone in. Okay, I'm back. I am back. All right, now I'm going to full speed, and I'm just gonna go nuts. Whee! Oh, look at me climb up the back. Here I come, Winky. Whee! I'm jumping around like a happy little puppy. Whee! Uh-oh. Oh, no. See if you can push me. Okay, I'll try. I'll try and come over. Help me, Winky. Help me. I'm coming. Ooh, you almost got it. Oh, you should have just gone forward. Go forward, forward. Okay. Push, push. Uh oh. Alright, I'll grab him. Alright. There we go. Watch, I can take him here and I'll just throw him in. Watch, I can just go. Oh no! I think with the app, you can actually put sounds through your phone too, so you can make yeah. sounds. Here I come, coming right at you. Here we go. Let me turn around. Here I come. Let me slow the speed down. It's just really hard to control at that warp speed, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here I am, here I am. Hey, yeah. Winky. Good to meet yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, Alright, I would say these are pretty awesome. What do you say? You like them, huh? Mm -hmm. Which one do you think you're going to want to keep now, Winky or Stinky? I think you like Stinky, oh, yeah. right? All right, you can have Stinky. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun building these for you. And if you want to see more cool toys, look in that description. We'll have a playlist. As always, you can just search Lucky Penny Shop. Later. Bye. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here.
Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.